Number seven, how are protons and neutrons similar and how are they different? Okay, so I'm just going to put down similarities here and then I'll put differences down here. Differences. Okay, so we're looking at protons and neutrons and I gave you a nice chart that's found in your textbook that says properties of subatomic particles. And wh what do you know, right? Protons are here and neutrons are here. So if you're asking for where, where's the electrons, go back to number six. We did protons versus electrons in that one. This one we're just going to worry about protons and neutrons. So the first similarity between these two is that they are both subatomic particles. So that's bullet number one, subatomic particles. So they're both subatomic particles. And just know the term subatomic means they um, are, we'll say, smaller. Yeah, that's, that's a good word. So subatomic particles are smaller than an atom. So they're smaller than the atom that's found on the periodic table. And if we put many, many, many subatomic particles together, protons, neutrons, and electrons, they will form an atom. So it's like the little pieces that are put together to form the one whole puzzle, which is the atom. All right? So protons and neutrons are both subatomic particles. So that checks this off. Now here, if we look in location, they both are located in the nucleus. So that's another similarity. So both P and N, protons and neutrons, are found in the nucleus. And just know that if I was talking about any specific element, let's do... I don't know. Let's do, um, we'll do lithium. Actually, do I know the, yeah, I think lithium is six or seven. So down here, lithium should be a three. And I think up here, lithium will be like six point something. Maybe it's a seven, but that don't worry about that. When you're deciding what number is the atomic number for lithium, it's always the lower one. It's always going to be the whole number. So this is your atomic number, which is the number of protons, all right? And let's just say that this specific lithium will actually make it specific for six, all right? So let's just say that this specific lithium had an atomic mass, which is always the higher number, atomic mass of six, and it has uh, six protons as well, all right? So just know that your atomic mass is always protons plus neutrons. So if the total equals six and my protons is, ooh, sorry about this, this, there's not six protons. I hear you guys. There's actually three protons, right? It's always the lower number. So if you have a total of six, the atomic mass is equal to six, and you have three protons, how many neutrons would you guys have? How many would lithium have? Well, it would have three, right? Because three plus three is equal to six. So in this example, I have three protons and three neutrons, right? And both of these live inside the nucleus. So here, if I drew a circle for lithium and I, you know, colored it in, there would be three protons, which means that there would be three plus charges because protons are positive. So protons positive, PP positive, proton positive, PP. Neutrons are neutral, NN. So you could think of those easy ways, neutrons, neutral. So proton positive, neutrons negative, all right? So we put the three protons in here, the three positives, one, two, and three. Now let's just put the three neutrons, 
neutral, I'm just going to say that it's a zero charge. So I will just put zero, 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 right? Slashes with means zero. So all of those would rely or reside in the nucleus. The, out, the outer cloud is the electron cloud, but that's where the electrons are found. So that takes care of another similarity, right? Their location. They're both of the nucleus. Okay? And now, if I looked at the masses, they are very, very, very similar to one another, right? They're a little bit different, but they're super similar, right? If we looked at the mass category here, it's 1.67262 times 10 to the negative 24th versus 1.674 times 10 to the negative 24th. So that's also another similarity that they put in. So they both have very similar masses. So the protons and the neutrons have very similar masses. They're very, very small, but they're very similar. The electrons, however, are much, have a much less mass than protons and neutrons. Differences. Well, the differences, like we just said, are the charges, right? Protons have a atomic, a unit charge of plus one. Meanwhile, a neutron has a charge of zero. So I'll just put a slash there for saying zero instead of O. All right, so that's a difference. Protons are plus, neutrons are, neg are neutral. And another thing is their charge, right? Their charge is different. If we look over here, charge in coulombs, um, protons have a much larger charge than neutrons because literally neutrons are neutral, they have no charge. So the charge, differences as well. Differences. So proton has a 1.602 times 10 to the negative ni uh, 19 coulomb charge versus neutrons have a zero coulomb charge. So that's also a difference. But I think we, we got them all, right? We did location, we did charge, the unit charges we did, and they have very similar masses. So that's all of the similarities and differences, all right? So hopefully this helped, guys. Um, if it did, hit the like button just so that we know that we're doing our job. And if you want to get the next batch of questions as soon as we, you know, put them out there, hit subscribe, all right? Then that way you'll be the first ones to know when we release our next set of questions. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys all in number eight, all right? Take care.